So next up, you'll find out how you can actually buy your first NFT token and also maybe if you'd like, create one as well. And we'll be doing that on Rarible. But before you do, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. I create a lot of DeFi content I'm sure you'll find interesting and acclimatize you to the whole DeFi space, making sure that you understand everything you need to know to be successful. All right, let's jump over to Rarible. For this to work, you definitely need an Ethereum wallet. There's many different flavors you can um, connect to Rarible with uh, MetaMask, Coinbase wallet, and also Trust Wallet. When you're on the, the Rarible Connect page, you can actually connect with MetaMask, Formatic, Wallet Connect, and also Wallet Link. And we'll be using the Wallet Connect app. I get my trusty mobile phone open, open the Trust Wallet. And then I just have to click on Wallet Connect. And I click the confirmation that I am 30 years, at least 30 years old, and accept the Rarible terms of service. All right, so now we're logged in to Rarible. And as you can see, there are many different um, artworks that you see here. People have uploaded um, GIFs and pictures, and they've made a certain amount of them. So for example, this one here, the last Ether, has five NFT tokens of this artwork, and they each cost you 0.07 ETH. But here you can actually look, maybe you already know some artist that you'd like to um, buy some artwork from. You're just going to have to have some ETH in your wallet and you go and scroll down. You either find the artworks that you want to buy or, or maybe the artist that you um, really like his artwork. And then you can just click on the one that you like to buy. And so, for example, here we've got one from uh, Ivan on Tech. He created uh, 300 NFT tokens of this unique Big Boy Pants card. But here you've got the Fancy Nana. So let's say I'd like to buy the Fancy Nana NFT token. And what I would have to do is make sure I've got enough ETH in my wallet. And I'll just click here and click buy one for 0 0.092 ETH. And the great thing here is that for certain NFT tokens, especially artworks, there's going to be a creator fee, a royalty fee. Um, every time that I would then sell this artwork, the creator um, would get a certain percentage. So in this case, you would get 50% of the sales for each of these tokens that gets resold will go to the creator and ghost. I just have to click on buy one. I would click on proceed to payment. 15% goes to ghost and I would have to pay 0 0.09, 38 dollars for this uh, NFT token. I would proceed to payment. And then I would assign this transaction on my trust wallet. Well, I don't really want to buy this. So we we're going to cancel that. All right, so that's, that's basically how you can buy an NFT token. Now, there, there are some interesting aspects of NFT tokens that I don't think a lot of people have addressed. So for example, an artist can provide a link, an IPFS link to the high resolution version of his artwork. So let's say this Fancy Nana is just a small picture. And if I buy this NFT token, I will get a link to the high resolution version of this image. So that might be a way for artists to sell high resolution images or maybe um, some uh, YouTubers or Instagrammers to create another version of OnlyFans where they present the NFT token as a blurred image. And when there, someone buys this token, uh, they will get the unblurred version of the image. And I guess you can imagine for what purposes uh, that would be used for. So those are two different uh, versions. What you could also probably do is you don't have to have like a full resolution image, but it could also be a link to a video. So for example, uh, theoretically, I could create an uh, interesting video that would be premium and people could buy the NFT token and by buying the NFT token, they could access this premium video. And when they've watched the video and don't want it anymore, they could resell this token, um, which, is, which is pretty interesting. It's like a type of um, lending mechanism. All right, so those are a few other use cases of these uh, NFT tokens um, in terms of providing a lot more value to the people buying it apart from just uh, as a collectible. So let's head over and create uh, a new artwork. And I'm gonna create an artwork for my channel. So if I first click on the account, my account here, you can already see what artworks I've created or received. So I've got one proof of attendance token from the Topaz testnet because I participated in that. And I also created one other uh, NFT token, which is a unique one for the ETH 2.0 NFT upgrade. All right, to create your new NFT token, you can click on Create Collectible. Now you're gonna to have to decide if you want your collectible to be one of a kind or multiple if you wanna sell one collectible multiple times. So this is going to decide the rarity of your uh, NFT token. And I'm going to create multiple 
I'm going to create a limited edition of your DeFi guide GIF. Here you can choose an image. It can be either JPG, PNG, or a GIF, and it has to be underneath 10 megabytes in size. So I've got it right here. I think it's around eight megabytes. I can upload it. I'll give it a name. And as soon as it's uploaded, I see the preview here on the right and here on the left. All right, so I go down, I'll create the name. Define adventure. And I'll give it a, so this is going to be a proof of attendance and token that you are a loyal sub 5k subscriber. Right. Then numbers of copies, I'm going to limit this to 100 copies. And that's going to be it. So here is what I mentioned before. Um, you could actually add maybe a link, a video or a document or something like that if I click on this. And I could maybe put the link to, a, to a, like a premium video that you would get access to when you unlock this uh, NFT token or even a PDF guide or anything, a high resolution uh, image of this GIF or anything um, in that regard. But I'm not going to be doing this uh, for this token. I might do it in in the future, let's see. It does sound like a good idea. Maybe I might release a course or something like that, and then I could sell it by providing uh, an NFT token uh, for sale and then a link um, to access the course. That might be an idea uh, for a future project. So the royalties I leave at 10%. Then I can also set the price down here below. And I don't know, maybe I'll put it at 0 0.08. That's fairly okay. I think it's a bit too high. Let's put it at 0 0.05. And this is basically um, a token that shows that you are part of the sub 5,000 uh, subscribers of my channel. It also helps me, of course, create a lot more content and spend a lot more time creating the videos if you want to support my channel. Um, let's keep the royalties at 10%. And then I can just click on create and it will create 100 versions of this uh, NFT token. So I click on create. I have to open up my trust wallet to sign this transaction. I'm going to have to sign it a few times. So I'm going to have to approve this NFT token. It's going to take a little bit of time for this uh, signature to be accepted in the next block on the Ethereum blockchain. And so the cost to mint the token is probably around 10 or $15 uh, if you take all these transactions and sum the costs up together. And of course, it depends on how clogged the Ethereum blockchain is. So it's, it's definitely not cheap. And hopefully this will be soon solved with EMP 1559 as well as the... Um, if you want to 2.0 blockchain and layer two scaling solutions, but I'm gonna to have to be a little bit patient for that. All right, so while I'm waiting for this uh, approval to be accepted in the next block, I've got a quick announcement and that's about the next event, which is pretty interesting. It's um, EY Global Blockchain Summit, which is taking place on the 2nd of November at 1 p.m. CAT time. So you can sign up with the link down below. It's completely free to attend. And this is super interesting. I'm going to be talking about a lot of DeFi related topics or Ethereum related topics. And also what the great news is, is that I've got a 15 minute slot at the end of the presentation that's allocated for me. So I'll be uh, presenting some information about Ethereum 2.0 and two scaling solutions and so on. So I highly recommend that you uh, attend and sign up. I mean, it's, it's really interesting to see what one of the big four players is doing in the space. So let's go back to our uh, NFT token. So I think here sometimes what you have to do is you have to um, close this and then you click on the create button again. And then what it would do, it would open up the next step. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't always uh, update it. So you have to close this window and then wait for the next one. And for me, what I also have to do is I sometimes have to click on follow wallet instructions um, to get the next signature. But I received the next signature. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Not sure if it... Uh, if it focuses, yeah, now I just have to click on send. So it's gonna cost me $5, and it's also gonna be approved in the next block in a few minutes. Luckily, the gas fees at the moment are not too high, so um, minting this new token is not gonna be super expensive, but it'll probably take a few seconds or even a minute for this to uh, go forward. Again, I'll, I'll just close this, and then I'll open it up again. And hopefully the last part is already finished and I can continue, not yet. What you can do is if you're not sure if it's went through, you can actually check Etherscan to see if the transaction went through and then you can look at how long uh, the block time um, should take until it's uh, added to the next block. So here it should be added in less than 45 seconds, which is uh, definitely a lot faster than, than times I've seen in the last few weeks. And a quick 
And for as soon as it's added to the next block, then you can close the following steps window and open it up again. It's a bit of a hassle at the moment. I hope this process um, is made a bit easier because there are many um, approvals that have to be done and it's not done in one single transaction. So I'd like maybe um, in the future that all of this can be done in a single transaction and not um, three or four different ones. So it's been added to the next block. So what I can do now is just cl close this. Now open it up again. And now, So this is a problem that I've seen that happens to me is that um, after I've minted the token, it will not update um, this little pop-up window. So it will just ask you to mint the token over and over again. So I don't recommend doing that because if you do that, you just create several versions of the token. So now I created two by accident, but that's fine. And I'll show you afterwards how you can actually burn some tokens. So, so we won't continue here with um, selling. What you can do is you can open up your account here on the top right hand corner of the screen so you can click um, open a new window and here you see the tokens that you've created so as soon as you've minted the token you've created it so now what we'll do is we're going to sell these tokens but first of all what i'll do is i've got this uh, nft token twice and i don't want um, two versions of it so what i do is here on the right hand side i can click on the three dots and i can burn this token so i'll click on burn and now i have to sign this with my wallet how many tokens i'd like to burn I like to burn 100 of these tokens, so I click on burn tokens. I get a notification after I sign this transaction. This um, transaction is not going to cost a lot. This is going to be burn, and then I'll show you how you can actually sell the tokens. Unfortunately, it wasn't possible to do it on the first window, since um, I do uh, often get a bug when minting new NFT tokens that I would just always ask again and again to mint new tokens and they won't continue to the next screen. I'm not really sure why it is for me. Maybe it's my browser. Um, let me know if you've got the same issue. So let's close this. I don't really need to keep this anymore since I've already minted the token, so I can also close this window. All right, so this is gonna probably take a while to, to burn these tokens. I can actually refresh the page And as you can see, I've only got um, one version left with 100 units. So what I'll do is I'll click on this and I just have to click on sale. I'll set the price, I think it was 0 0.05 uh, for 100, 2.5% service fee, and I will receive $20 for each token. So anyone that wants to support the channel, uh, of course, subscribe, leave a like, but I'd also highly uh, appreciate it if you uh, bought one of these uh, NFT tokens to show your support. Um, but of course, it's 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 not mandatory. It's just a, a token of gratitude. So you can click on the next step, and I just have to sign my sell order, and I have to open up my wallet and sign this transaction again. So this is going to be funny uh, with a lot of numbers. I'm not sure if this is zooming correctly. I'm not sure if you can see that. I hope you can see that. And just click on OK, and this transaction order. So I think the the total price for the um, gas fees I had to pay to mint these NFT tokens is around 10 or $15. And of course, it'd probably be a little bit less if I didn't have this bug and minted it twice uh, NFT tokens. But this is to show that the, and, and the, the whole DeFi space is still very experimental. You're going to have bugs here and there, um, dApps are not working properly. But it just shows there's a lot of growth potential because if it's a so complicated, it means that there's still quite a high barrier to entry for a lot of people. So now this is uh, done. And I can refresh this. And if I go to my account, I'll see 
that this can be bought by anyone. I think this is a pretty nice uh, NFT token. I'll link it down below if anyone's interested in it. There's only going to be hundreds uh, of these tokens and I might burn some. Um, the rest is not bought. But it definitely helps me out with buying new gear, um, investing more time into creating stuff for the channel. So yeah, basically that was the NFT non-fungible token guide on the use cases behind NFT tokens, the future growth of the space. I think there's a lot of potential, especially large companies coming into this uh, space and also showing you how you can uh, create and buy and burn some NFT tokens on Rarible. If you're interested in more videos like this, definitely leave a like, um, hit that subscribe button and also leave a comment down below giving your opinion on the whole topic of NFT tokens. Have you also bought some? I'm very interested to know that. With that said, I wish you a fantastic day. I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one.